Hey friends, welcome to Tech Harvesting. Let us have a look at customizing our terminal. Before I did the, any of the customization, this was not how my terminal looked like. It looked like this, and I don't like this at all. It looks so not like no much features, no icons, nothing. Let's have a look and make our terminal look like this. You can see all the things work properly. My terminal is looking much better. It has a few more icons like this X over here and all these things. We'll be doing all this with the help of a few packages such as ZSH. Oh my ZSH is um, another package that we'll be using for uh, making our terminal look much better uh, with some themes and plugins. And we'll also be uh, using the spaceship theme for ZSH to achieve this so without wasting time let's get started to start um, let's go ahead and open up uh, the oh my ZSH website to install ZSH but before we do that we must install ZSH itself and a few dependencies also so open up your terminal and enter these commands you can do sudo apt install and we're going to install ZSH, which is the shell that we are using. Then we'll be installing um, git, so git-core. And we can also install curl. I have installed all these things, uh, so uh, it might take a few seconds for you to install this. It's not a bit, they're not big packages at all, uh, so um, it won't take much time. Let's, uh, you can come back once all the installs are done. And by the way, if you're not using um, uh, a distribution like uh, Ubuntu, or if you're use, not using a Debian-based distribution, I have a blog post in the description. Uh, it's a blog post by me. And um, in that, I've shown all the commands for different distributions like Arch and uh, OpenZuse and other distributions also. So you can go and check it out if you're not using any distribution based on Debian. I'll be showing this on Ubuntu. So now once we have installed all those we can just copy uh, this command and paste in the terminal. It's a curl command and we can install ZSH using this uh, command. So I have already done this also so um, you might have to do this. It's very simple just copy that just paste in terminal and hit enter. I've actually already done this so uh, I'll um, not show it right now but um, you can do this right now and I'll come to you um, when you have done back. Once that is done, uh, we have now successfully installed oh, my ZSH. Now to do everything, uh, let's just cd to our home directory and we have to um, go and open up our ZSH uh, configuration file. So we'll just do nano dot zsh rc nano is a text editor like uh, any text editor you would use like visual studio code or no a notepad this is just a simple one you can see it's zsh underscore theme all these are variables that are set by oh my zsh so now if you go ahead onto your terminal like um, it may not look like this for you so first it might look like this so uh, what you should do is you can type in ZSH and hit enter and you will see your prompt like this. One thing you must do is that whenever you open your terminal you will need to get ZSH and you will you don't have to always do the ZSH ZSH and you want to get the bash uh, removed uh, not from your computer but removed from your terminal as a default uh, shell. So we can just right click on console edit profile and you can just change this to from bash to ZSH. It's different from different terminals. Uh, uh, I'm using um, uh, console in this uh, tutorial you might ha be using terminator or the genome def defaults terminal uh, it's uh, a bit different for the all these uh, terminals but uh, you can uh, follow along by changing your shell so now once that's done uh, you whenever you open up a new tab you'll be getting ZSH in here and instead of uh, bash that's what we have done right now the next thing is to change our uh, theme uh, so that's also simple we can just go ahead to this link in the description uh, this is the ZSH um, spaceship theme which is what I'm using you can just scroll down and get the link to uh, download it um, this is an awesome theme it has a lot of um, icons and all these things um, let's uh, install that right now so you can just uh, clone this repository and run these commands all these are there in the blog post in the description I've shown you a few images also so you can just go ahead and uh, do that uh, it's very simple I've already done these the last thing you must do is to go ahead and nano to your dot zsh rc file oops uh, Okay, that's a small problem. I have already opened it up. So in here, so you can just go here. Uh, once you have uh, done those three commands, I'll have a link to this page in the description also, so you can just go to this place and do that. You can just uh, change this from Robbie Russell, which is the default theme, to Spaceship. 
and you can just do Control X Y enter and it's gonna save because I'm not exiting right now because I want to show you another thing you can see right here this plugins git so what this is that uh, all my ZSH has a lot of plugins so if you go to their website at the top if you go on to um, the seal plugins button you will be able to you'll be taken to the github repository and you have all these plugins so you can um, enable them in very simple way uh, for example there is a, uh, um, a plugin for Python also let's just search for that Python you can see it right here so you can just go here and in this plugins play you can just go here and uh, give space or yeah Python so by Python, you could give node. All these are different different um, plugins that are available. These are the default installed plugins with ZSH, Omi ZSH. Um, you can install more plugins also. Anyways, uh, I'm not showing that right now. You can install them in a very simple way. Um, so we have made this uh, our terminal look much better. So it looks like this right now um, with the Robbie Russell theme. I also want to show you a, a few uh, default themes with oh my ZSH. So if you go at the top here, you have this themes button, which will be taking uh, will be taking you to the themes of the key. So, uh, so you can see all these themes in here. Uh, so they also show a preview of the themes. So you can uh, choose the theme from there. Go back onto your uh, nano editor and go top all the way top and you can go ahead and change the theme here also so maybe that you want agnostor a lot of themes in here you can see uh, the default one is Robbie Russell which uh, I have right here uh, open it right here so um, that's it for this video just want to show you how you can customize your uh, terminal to make it look much better um, yeah so see you in the next video bye